Hi guys, RetroTech Ralph here. Right, I'm going to show you something. This was... Right, if you've read the, descri the description in the title, yeah, you'll know exactly what this is. This was a toy from my childhood, and, and get uh, the idea that I'm kind of middle-aged, middle, going on 40-odd. This was a, a toy that I used to play a lot with when I was a kid. Now, oh, nice little bubble wrap top. Now, the thing is with this is... This isn't mine. Everything that I ever had kind of went, either went to the, the schools, to the charities, to whatever else my mother decided to get rid of. But everything I've had to try and buy back over the years. So, if you've noticed the title, you'll understand Weebles. Hello, I'm Willie Weeble. Today, we're going to Weeble Farm in our new horse and cart. Hello, Farmer Weeble. Afternoon, Willie. Have you seen my new animals? Oh, look, Granny. They wobble just like us. Let's go, everybody. Oh, where's Wendy gone? Perhaps she's gone to the new Weeble paddling pool. There she is. Oh, there are lots of exciting new things in the wonderful world of Weebles. The catchphrase was Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down, literally, because... They're an egg shape with a weight at the bottom. Now let's go through what we've got in the box here. We've got a caravan here full of weebles. Now I did have this. This is why I bought this one. Now these are absolutely terrifying. These are the 70s weebles, the UK version. And they're absolutely shockingly horrible. Like, why, why the hell has he got a flight hat on? Red pants, very pink skin. He's a bit yellowish. But the weight in the bottom is obviously this section here. So you put them on the side and they will self right themselves, basically. Tons of the characters, probably the same, same. Very much, yeah. This is the base has changed the colours. That's all they got the difference with. I've got absolutely quite a few there but there's your um it's a caravan but it's also a play set with a swimming pool yes that is a piece of paper and yes that's a boat that floats on there and inside the caravan pop and bubble wrap we also have some of the parts here where you can sit your weevils and the other side actually falls down too to be some sort of picnic area And if you ever wanted to, ladders, got to go on that side, so you can walk up the steps right next to where you're, um... yeah, that's probably better actually. But the detail on these, you've actually got a barbecue grill there. This is the, this is the 70s. In the UK, we didn't do barbecues. And it's, it's quite a quaint plastic toy. Crack along the top there, which is just almost the end of it, but... This is obviously some kid going, yeah, and leaned on it over the years and snapped it. Little windows there, little tow loop. There's even a towing eye there. So you can tow it along even though the wheels are not on it. And they've obviously come off quite a long time ago. Diving board there so you can dive into the water. It's absolutely ridiculously weird, these things. I mean, look at the faces on it. They're just... There's a, there's a website I'm looking at at the moment called weeblewobble.com and yeah, it, they described that the look in the UK version was a... Uh, I think the original ones came out in the... There was a TV show in America called um, Romper Room or something. They tried basing these on. But the American versions are different to these. Where they've actually got different... Well, I don't have any of those. But what I do have, and I do remember having a lot of, with the play sets. I mean, they've, they've, they've re-released these. These were out first in 1971, and they've been reissued a couple of times and, and so forth. But it's it's the playability of these. It's really weird, kind of, yeah. They've got dead eyes. They just stare at you into nothing. They make the world go weird. Look at me. 
Oh, no, sorry. Absolutely horrible, but playability factor, brilliant. So what I had, it was a playground set, as well as the caravan. As long as you balance these all right, then you've had enough. I'll have to borrow one from in there. The seesaw there. So this is just a piece of bent plastic. The sticker on either side. There's a slide. Simple as. I mean, just, just imaginary play toys. I think Hasbro brought these out. I think Airfix in the UK. I mean, the third part of the play set. This was absolutely my nightmare. Right. These everything on here is plastic. So you'd put one arm in there. And you'd put the other arm for the support in there. And you'd never be lined up right, so you'd have to twist it a little bit and you'd probably break it. Oh. Of course, when you're a five year old, this ain't easy. So is that right? Ah. And then these would always fall off because they're not attached to anything. So get your people in and you'd swing them around. I had years of play out of mine, literally years. Should go around. No, I'm gonna try it. You have to the daft imagination of. Is he a ticket? Yeah, he can fly. Is the um, airport? There's so much chewability factor to this plastic. You just want to put it in your mouth and chew it. Even now, it's absolutely brilliant to chew. There's nice round edges. Just. Ridiculously good stuff. Ah, oh, let's get the postman out and put the pilot back in. I mean, everything still works. Everything from the 70s still absolutely works perfect. It's absolutely ridiculous. But uh, it's not meant to be, I don't think these were meant to actually last forever, but yeah. I mean, like I said, they've had different versions. They've had the Peppa Pig versions, Teletubbies. They even brought Paw Patrol out, which is one of the latest sort of things. But they've still got them released nowadays. You still buy these sort of stuff. These, you don't. These are set way, way past to history. It looks like all these lot have been glued together, so they've been dropped on the floor, or the person who had them before wanted to see what the weight was. Just a little, probably just an offset weight at the bottom right there. Probably the plastic moulded so it's more heavier on the bottom. So they just wobble, but they don't. They literally don't fall down. Absolutely brilliant. I don't even, I don't fully know how old I was. I think I was probably about, I don't know, five. So I probably got my set in about 76, 77. Well, these are absolutely shockingly bad to play with, but it, 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 this, the colour of the plastics is all it was. I think if they had painted these in the 70s, they'd have probably used some um, wonderful lead-based paint, so the paint would have probably come off anyway and the kids have been dying left, right and centre, but made in England, FX Weeble. So they are an original FX Weeble. Anymore. Main England, F it's Weeble. Can't E Weeble. Where's the pilot? Is the pilot? They should all be made in England, F it's Weeble. So F it's was our big one. Palitoy was a main American stuff that, that had most things out in the 70s and 80s. Was the, most of it was the Star Wars stuff. Which I have nothing of. If anybody's got any Star Wars stuff that they don't want, throw it my way. Get in touch. Send it me down, I would love to do a review of it. Even if it's a case of just, just send it down and I'll do a review. And I can send it you back. But yeah, they're just absolutely ridiculously bad to, to um, do anything with. These parts here would snap off. And you back off over there again now. Uh, but for a five year old, threading that on was a pain in the arse. See it off again. But. <laughs> See, the problem with these filming them is you can't fully do too much with them. I can barely get them looking up. 
and balance them right. That plane don't want to balance either. But yeah, see, they're just the bygone toys from a different from a different decade, from a different century. So, I mean, toys like this, you'll never have toys like this ever again. It's just ridiculous. People, I think kids obviously want a lot more to toys than what their imaginations can can show them. Which is a shame, but they'll come back around eventually, I'm sure they will. Woohoo! But like I said, the, the freakiness of these are absolutely horrible. I don't know if any of these are... I doubt any of these are rare or whatever, or the colours or whatever. No idea. I'm sure there's some sort of website out there which prices these up and collects them or whatever. But... So you've got three girls there holding... Four girls there holding... A flower. Two boys with a lollipop. Five girls holding the flower. Kind of the tie. Mother with knitting, or is it a handbag? Why well, I got two postmen? I don't know. Maybe the drivers or something. And the pilot with a tie. Yeah, that looks kind of like, if you remember Chubby Brown, he looks exactly with the helmet, yes, but the face does not look like him at all, to be honest. Ah, uh, Chubbs. Ah, uh, Chubbs. That's uh, so as far as I can do with the uh, toy review about Chubby Brown. If, you, if, you, if, if kids, you're watching this, if you want to know what Chubby Brown is, don't ask your parents, because they can't tell you. Because it's an adult-only... Well, he swears a lot, shall we say. His jokes are funny, but he swears a lot. <sighs> Not to worry. I can't stop playing with these. <laughs> oh no, you wanna... Pilot goes in front. Sorry. All right, anyway. <laughs> it's a little, um, um... Yeah, little look into my mind there of my past toy history so yeah i really do like these they'll go back in the box obviously and be stored for the rest of rest of eternity onto my retirement or whatever so yeah i hope you enjoyed i did thanks for watching please like subscribe There's tons more other videos on there not toys not just star trek not just tech stuff there's anything and everything on on my channel just try and do a little bit of everything to be honest so, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Give me a comment, say hello, to be honest. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.